four years ago, I used to be like this guy. Handsome, good looking, with thick dense hair. Even my brother also had seen thick hair. And I was happy. I used to style my hair with hair dryer and hair spray. All my friends used to say my hair looks so great on me. And used to feel like I have accomplished something in my life. And now I'm legend with so much experience with life and infused with life lessons. But in reality it was nothing. Except like my friends, no one cared how I look. And you pass by people, nobody looks at you. It's just you that they think like that and you feel insecure. So I will show you pictures of me and my brother as you can clearly see very good hairline and no hair loss. These pictures are from my college time. Then I decided I will move to new city where I will have more exposure, knowledge and I will be free for taking my own large decisions. Then I left my city Deska and started my new journey in new city Lahore. It was my biggest mistake because I never had left my home before and I have never learned how to take care of my health. So in first and second semester, I started eating outside from restaurant and because of that I got sick for a month. And the semester ends and I started losing hair. I was surprised even having good hair, I was losing it. So I started searching on YouTube and on Google what's happening, why I'm losing hair and it made me more depressed. So I talked to my friends who had seen problem and they had hair transplant and they told me that I should shave my head and uh, I will not get depressed anymore. So my friends suggested me to take vitamins like biotin and use Rogaine to regrow my hair and I used that and my hair started coming back. So in fourth semester, coronavirus started spreading and universities were locked down. The whole country was locked down and I got more depressed and I got more hair loss because I was never locked in my house for a whole year before. And this time I was like, I'm not going to take care of my hair anymore. If I'm going to bald, it, so be it. I'm not going to take care of it. And this is me right now after graduation. This is how I look. So I still had hair on my head. So I decided that I'm going to head a fade cut. And after looking at myself, I thought like I should have taken care of myself. So I didn't want to have fade cut or shave my head because it's your psychology, you have lived your own life with hair and you don't want to lose it. It's not like your conscious mind, it's your subconscious identity crisis because of losing your hair. So after shaving my head, I'm not feeling depressed anymore. I have sent my pictures to my friends and they were like, I also sent my pictures to those friends who had recently hair transplant and they were like, okay, and it was like nothing. And I feel stupid because it was nothing, nobody cares how I look. And I feel, I like feel stupid because I was depressed all these four years of losing my hair. And I learned a new thing after shaving my head that nobody cares. And do I care that you shave your head or do I care if you're bald or not? So do what you think what is best for you. So do those things what is best for you. So after shaving my head, I feel more confident and I don't feel any depression because I do not care. I don't have hair on my head anymore. Yeah. And I believe that you should also do that if you think it will make you more confident and less depressed. So in last the conclusion of my hair loss journey is that no one think more than you think about yourself. So do what is best for you.